fear. When you courageously look at fear straight in the eye and try to understand its source, you will be able to overcome it. Overcoming fear is a steep climb, but you can do this. You can do whatever you put your heart into. Conquering fear is something worthy of your attention because in a myriad of ways, fear curtails our freedom and our happiness. Knowingly or unknowingly, we get imprisoned by fear and then we blame unrelated people and situations for the way we are feeling. There are many kinds of fear. In this meditation, we will address two deep-seated fears, our conscious fear of a person or a situation and our subconscious fear of our own mortality, commonly known as death. Sit somewhere quiet and safe where you won't be disturbed for the next few minutes. Now is a good time to silence your phone. Start by breathing in and out. There is no rush and you're not thinking of creating any experience. You're simply breathing in and out deeply. As I slowly count to five, you breathe in and out and progressively relax your body. One, take a deep breath in and out. You're beginning to feel relaxed. Two, Take another deep breath in and out. Your relaxation is deepening. Three. Breathe in and out. You are relaxed. Four. Breathe in and out. Your relaxation has just doubled. Five. Breathe in and out. You're totally and completely relaxed. In this state of relaxation, you have the courage to look straight into the face of one of your fears. Take a few moments now and pick a situation or person that is making you fearful. Go ahead. It is safe to do so. No one will judge you. This is your personal time and so allow yourself to be open and honest with yourself. Where, when, why or with whom do you experience fear? What is the sensation in your body and mind when you feel afraid? Take a few moments now and think of these questions. Now look closely at the thoughts in your mind that arise from this state of fear.
Now examine your reaction to this fear. Do you get angry? Do you feel panicked? Do you start to control and fix things in your life? Do you busy your mind with work? Do you get impatient? Take a few moments now and think of your particular reaction to fear. It could be one or more of the above reactions. Take a deep breath in and out and go back to your still center Gently but firmly, imagine that in front of you is a being of light filled with an ocean of pure divine love. Feel this light and love as it cascades over you. It is like a waterfall pouring over you and washing your worries and fears away. You bathe in this love for a few moments. heart and connect to this ocean of divine love and light. This love is making you strong and fearless. You feel safe and secure in the presence of the supreme being of love. It's as if a Divine Mother is surrounding you and holding you close in a comforting embrace of pure love and belonging. You savor this healing energy for the next few moments. is being washed away, your mind is feeling soothed, and your heart is feeling refreshed. Right here, right now, you deeply know and experience that you're not alone. You're eternally connected to this source of abundant light and love. When you are ready, take a slow deep breath and be prepared to address another aspect of your fear, the fear of endings, especially the ending of this body. This fear is born of the deep habit of clinging to the illusion that we are the body. It is rooted in centuries of programming and ignorance of the nature of our real, true self. Let's program our minds to own and accept our eternal identity. Take a deep breath in and out. Now picture a white screen. Imagine the number five big and bold on the screen. Breathe in and out and let this number five disappear. 
Imagine the number four, big and bold and bright on the screen. Breathing in and out deeply, make the number four disappear. Let it disappear completely. Now imagine the number three on the screen. Breathe in and out deeply and let the number three disappear completely. Now imagine the number two, bold and bright on the screen. Breathe in and out deeply and let the number two disappear. Now imagine the number one, big and bold on the screen. Breathe in and out deeply and make the number one disappear completely. Now see yourself and sense yourself as a beautiful being of luminous light energy. You are spirit. You were complete with love, peace and joy before entering this body and this physical world. And all those qualities are eternal. Take time now and keep repeating to yourself. I am a soul, I am eternal, I am peace, I am love. Again, seeing them, sensing them, and feeling them. I am a soul. I am eternal. I am peace. I am love. Once more, seeing them, sensing them, and feeling them. I am a soul. I am eternal, I am peace, I am love. Remind yourself again and again that death cannot finish you. No matter what happens in the outside world, I will always exist. Even death cannot take my peace and love away. Those qualities exist within me forever. The only reason I have a fear of losing them is because I forget who I am. I am pure spiritual light conscious energy that cannot be created nor destroyed. Slowly you come back to here and now with deep conviction that you're an eternal being of light distinct from this physical world. The more you practice this meditation, the more you will realize that you are an incorporeal being of light. The more you experience yourself as an eternal soul, the more you will overcome fear. Om Shanti, I am peace.
fear is like a great magician that casts the illusion that I have something that the world can take away from me. It makes me believe that love can be taken away, that peace can be taken away, that even my life can be taken away. To dispel this illusion, I have to be willing to go on an inward journey away from the physical world and into the ocean of my spiritual being. I take some time now to rest my mind in stillness. And I begin to sense that peace as it unfolds like a warm light into every cell of this body. I take some time to remember that I am spirit and that before I entered this world I was complete with peace, with love, with joy. These qualities exist within me forever. And the only reason I lose touch with them is I forget who I am. So I take some time now to remember that I am light. I am eternal. Even death cannot finish this light. I am love. And no matter what happens in the outside world, that love will always be within me. When I think on these qualities, when I emerge love in my heart, when I emerge peace in my mind, when I take time to sense my eternity and to remember that I am distinct from this physical world, then I begin to realize that just like the ocean is a world unto itself, my inner world is a world unto itself. My inner world is full of qualities. And just like the physical world offers water, flowers, fruits, and resources, my inner world can offer me so much love, so much peace. So much comfort that no external situation can shake me. The more I practice this awareness that I am light and that the experience of these qualities continues eternally, independent of anything that can happen in the outside world. The more I realize that I am incorporeal, pure and light, the easier it will be to dispel the illusion of fear. And I will realize I have nothing the world can take away from me because regardless of anything that happens, I am always light. I am always peace. I am always a child of the Supreme Being. Thank you.
Stop all your excuses, got the answers up. 